So it was brilliant to have this study at 125 where we we're passionate about creating a gender informed, trauma informed environment that can make a real difference to women's lives. So we know that lots of uh, women who access 125 services have experienced trauma as a child in childhood and then they go on to experience multiple tra traumas as an adult. We know that women involved in street sex work are taking drugs to manage the trauma that they've experienced. It can be really difficult for them to access mental health support whilst they are actively using drugs. So the experiences of street sex work in women are unique in, in terms of the amount of sexual violence that they experience, the levels of trauma that they've experienced, and the stigma around being involved in street sex work and how people feel about judgment. So to be in a group with other women who have shared those experiences gives women the best chance to feel comfortable to openly talk about what they've been through. One of the women said, um, it was really nice to be offered something different and to have that opportunity to take part in something that nobody had been offered before. What was so amazing about this study is it gave women that opportunity to have trauma treatment even though they weren't abstinent from drugs and they were still having that ongoing drug treatment which made it really unique. There were 11 women from 125 who took part in the DUSK study and four of them went on to have specialist trauma treatment which isn't something that is widely available to street sex working women. One woman who took part in the study said the post-traumatic stress treatment is a way of like sort of detoxing your brain. So, you know, finding a reason why you do these drugs to sort of be the reason for me to say, well, I've got to stop now, you know, and get off it. The women that took part in the treatment all had varying different experiences and outcomes, but it gave them an opportunity to receive trauma treatment that they would never have been offered before and it gave them a chance to think about the trauma that they'd experienced and how it had affected their lives and how you know, it impacted on their substance misuse, which was really, really valuable for them. The study demonstrates that we have to enable people who are using substances to have some kind of treatment around their mental health. We can't wait for people to stop using drugs always because that's not always possible for them because they're self-medicating extreme levels of emotional pain. So we have to think about something different. We have to try and offer something different. It was also really important to hold the drug treatment sessions at 125 in an environment where street sex workers feel comfortable um, in a female only setting that's trauma informed. So this was an amazing example of the partnership work that we, we have with people in the city. Particular special thanks to Dr Nikki Jill, who knows 125 really well, already had a relationship with the women and was the perfect person to lead on this study. We worked really closely with BDP and DHI around the drug treatment groups, with AWP around the specialist trauma treatment and the University of Bristol around how to approach this feasibility study and make it safe for the women to take part in. It was brilliant.